See, the ultimate test was the fact that were you going to act on, you know, primitive shit, you know, small stuff? Were you going to act on the fact that, like, okay, you see something shiny when it comes in your realm of reality? The test was, like, was whether or not were you going, going to react to it? You know what I'm saying? Were you going to, oh, I want that shiny piece of whatever the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? It could have been pussy. You feel me? Could have been an easy ass uh, opportunity to get over on somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's the test. And you see a lot of people, a lot of guys, they struggle most of their life. They struggle a lot because they they all they see is that little, you know, they're nearsighted. So the little shiny, the shiny thing that comes into their reality is like, oh, yeah, that's that's what I want. That's mine. I'm going to take that instant gratification, not putting in no work for nothing, not earning anything. And that's why a lot of guys struggle. And then not only do they struggle like that, but they don't take into accountability their actions. They don't want to look themselves in the mirror. You feel me? They don't want to put in the sacrifice stuff. So they struggle day after day after day. And then they wonder why, like, damn, bro. Why can't I, like, get the finer things in life? Why can't, like, I get a better situation, a better job, better females? Bro, didn't pass the test. The simplest test of all. You feel me? It's all about disciplining yourself. Controlling your life force energy. And... After you do that, it's going to be more tests. It's going to be more, it's going to be more quote unquote pawns or different little situations that God or the universe is going to send at you, dog. Bro, for the longest, I've been wondering, when am I going to live quote unquote better? When, I'm, when am I going to be in, you know, an expensive car? I mean, half the time, first of all, think if, if I think about it. I'd be like, damn, do I even want an expensive car? You know what I'm saying? Or the finer things in life. Who gave me that idea of that was, you know, that's going to be the, like, that's the way to, to live. Because, you know, when you have the finer things in life, a lot of the times, and I'm not, and I'm not knocking anybody who's up there. Shout out to you. But a lot of the times, niggas done lost their souls. You feel me? Niggas, niggas, niggas done copped out. Changed into something that they really not. So you, so just because, like I said, just because something is flashy and something looks good, like bro, it's not always the route to 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 go. And then on the in the in the same breath, like I said, nobody. When I say no, like nobody can tell you what your life should be. You are supposed to tell tell yourself what your life should be. Think about it, you feel me? All like I said, if you wanna have a better life, or if you wanna or, or whatever the case may be, if you wanna have a family, these little ass tests, these little ass, you know what I'm saying, your exes, these little ass jobs, it all this shit is a test. All this shit is a test, though. When we gonna wake up and, and, and realize like, um, my guy. This is the type of test where you don't even have to study for. All you got to do is just use common sense. All you got to do is just realize, like, literally, think about what your soul wants. Think about what your spirit wants. Have that conversation, nigga. Go in, the, go in the booth, DJ booth or wherever. Go in the lab. Go in your mama house. Go in the backyard. And have this conversation with your, with your multiple selves, bro. Not on no crazy shit. Not on no Kanye West shit. You feel me? Shout out to my nigga Kanye. I know he going through it. And shout out to Skeet that took his uh, his 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 wife. It's just so ironically, the camera cut off as soon as I said that Kanye comment. I, I I didn't mean to kick a man when he's down, but like, anyway, like I said, man, getting back to the point, man. 
all this little stuff, all like the, if you've been going through life and you're wondering when you're going to like, you know what I'm saying, have a better, like have a better reality, bro, just think about it for a second. Listen to what your spirit want. Listen to what your soul want. Start to, start to not only, you know, you, yeah, you retaining your energy, you know what I'm saying, cultivating, but you also got to reinvest back into yourself. That's if you really, 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 really want to get to the like the the top one percent, reinvesting in your in yourself. You feel me? Whatever, what like? Think about it, dog. Anything that you that that that's like, you know for a fact. It's just for the moment. It'll be like you know there there will always be moments where there's where it's just gonna be for the moment. You know what I'm saying? And this, this video is actually going to, um, I'm going to actually, because, you know, I'm going to do a continuation to this video. But I don't even want to bring up the subject as of right now. I'm going to save it for the next video that I'm about to drop. But I'm just letting y'all know, like like I said, right now, it's a test, though. Anytime you get a, a feeling or a thought that makes you want to waste your your infant like bro you have a lot of when i say when i say your energy you got to look at your energy as like currency except that it's way more valuable than currency okay because you know you got the value of the dollar and all that shit that shit's always going to lose its value you feel me but with your type of currency you are actually not only transmuting it but you are actually helping humanity evolve you are actually helping the world you know what i'm saying get to where it needs to get to your type of currency is almost like if you're not careful, bro, your type of currency will get blown easily. Why? Because we're, we're, we're constantly failing these little ass tests. You feel me? I'm like, bro, a test could come in any way, shape or form. And you know this, you know this, you know, when you getting tested, you know, when you on the phone with your girl. And everything is good. You're thinking about this shit logically, man. You know, it's a per it was a nice day, perfect day, whatever. And for some reason, when she starts wilding, you know, she's testing you. It's not even that she's wilding for a specific purpose. She's testing you just to see how you're going to react, bro. She's really testing you just to see how you're going to react. And if you react like a bitch, she's going to fucking leave your ass. Simple as that. Simple as that. It's just like in life. When when life hits you in the motherfucking mouth and you react like a bitch, it's like life is like, all right, you not even strong enough to even deserve this type of uh um blessing that's about to come. You still a bitch, nigga. You feel me? And I don't even really like using that word or like trying to but sometimes some people need to some people need to hear this shit, though. It's be it be niggas in the streets that like I said, I be watching my videos and shit. And shout out to y'all. And I ain't trying to come off as a gangster, but I'm letting y'all know, like, nigga, that's what life is telling you, not me. That's what life is telling us, dog. Like, I know, like, shit. Even if, like, let's just say, for example, bro, you know how many tests I failed? <laughs> you know how you test some motherfucker? And I didn't even know that I was just like, damn, bro. Life is this and life is that. Or life is not fair. Or, like, all these niggas is winning. Like, damn, how do you... How how this simple ass nigga is getting a girlfriend and it just seems like it's working? No, Al, you're failing because first of all, you kept you keep on looking outward, thinking like, okay, this is how life is supposed to be, not knowing like the whole time your real realm of reality is within you, and it's way bigger than what the fuck you see outside. So when are we actually gonna look at this shit and be like, man, stop, like, like let's stop playing. Let's stop acting so primitive, man. Y'all boy gotta think about this shit, man. Like, you feel me? If you really want it, go get it. If you really want it, reinvest in yourself. I'm I'm not I didn't I didn't even say invest. I'm talking about reinvesting because I feel like if you are already retaining your energy, um, meditating, eating right, that's the first investment. You feel me? That is the first investment. But without saying too much, though, I'm going to end the video for today, man. It's been your boy, Moody Star. Make sure you like, share, comment down below. I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. Drop a dollar on that cash app, too, if you want to support the team. It's been your boy, Moody Star. Peace.